Hello, welcome back to Tanya's Beauty Box. I am Tanya, and today we are going to be unenthusiastic <laughs> about my BoxyCharm Base Box for July 2022. I am all kinds of unenthusiastic. I have variation number 11. And the uh, theme is status 000, which I've heard is out of office. There is only one thing that I am wanting in this box. I hope I want it, um, but um, yeah, I am, I'm getting, I'm, mm, me and Boxy Charm, mm, we're turning to those cousins that don't really get along, but uh, see each other every once in a while. Um, first things first, I got the Kate Somerville Goat Milk um, Moisturizer. I have no energy for this box. No energy for this box. And I definitely have no energy for Goat Milk Moisturizer. Goat Milk Anything. I don't want it. It's like, ugh. It's just something about the fact that it is goat milk. I'm not going to be able to slather it on my face. I don't want to smell it. I don't want it on my hands. I don't want to feel the texture. I don't want it to have anything to do with this product. $76 or not, I don't care. Don't want it. So this will be going to somebody that loves goat milk products. Kate Somerville is a great brand. I'm just not a fan of goat milk products. You can keep all of that. I also am kind of bleh, meh, on the lippy I'm having on today, which is from Minted. It's their number one crayon lip gloss. It's pretty enough. It has color. It's not sticky. I believe these are about $15. It's a lip gloss. I have I, I apologize for not being gung ho, excited. Um yeah, not feeling it. The next thing, let's just go through the stuff that I didn't choose. Um there's a Natasha Denona palette in here. In Cupid and apparently I already have this palette because they gave me a six dollar credit which they typically give you twelve dollars mind you they gave me a six dollar credit because they gave me a repeat item with the Natasha Denona Cupid palette my thing is if you know you're giving me a repeat item you already know it why just not give me something else? Why send me the product that is to repeat? Give me a lousy little $6 credit. Make it worth $25 that you have to meet to get free shipping. And I found absolutely nothing I wanted in a drop shop, in the mega drop shop, or whatever kind of shop. I did not drop. I did not shop. I'm going to give this. Natasha Denona palette away to someone that is, and I have the palette. It is a nice palette. I don't need two of them. I'll never go through it. That's that. Then we're batting a thousand, right? We have from Jekka Black Glow Drops Highlighting Primer for Face, Vegan Friendly, Cruelty Free, Rose Pearl. Um, I guess I could tell you prices. This is twenty dollars. This Jack of Black situation. Of course, the Natasha Denona 
five pan palette is 48 and that goat milk uh, moisturizer was 76 let's open it this whole box um, I'm not feeling this is the packaging Yeah, I'm not feeling it. I don't want it. I'm seriously thinking about ending my relationship with BoxyCharm. Even the August 2022 choices for the base box, it was between the Glow Recipe Avocado Sleep Mask and something from, I believe, OPV, like a trio face palette yeah they could have they need to upgrade their choices and then they have the audacity to send from the beauty crop let's see how much is this 18 dollars this is a liquid eyeshadow duo i am not a liquid eyeshadow gal I will not be using it. I will not be opening it. One side is a matte. The other side is a coppery metallic. I have no use for this. And why give me a dual sided um, shadow, eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow, when you just gave me a five pan palette, Natasha Denona shadow palette I don't know now this is what I chose it was between this particular item from Ali Oop which is the multi-use face stacker three cream shades to play in cocktail hour or you could have chosen I think a 10 pan eyeshadow palette from the brand phase zero but they look so light and ashy for my skin tone that i had no choice but to pick this little stackable here because what else was i gonna do and luckily they had some variations in the color story so i picked the deepest color story let's open it up can you tell I'm enthusiastic about what's going on right now? Let's see here. Can I get it open without tearing the box? Because you never know if you're going to keep something or not. And I hate to tear a box for, of something that I'm going to end up giving away to someone else. So I got the box open. It says Alley Oop. And this is worth... $38 and it's a stackable and you open here it's got to be a cream highlight cream blush let's see here and cream bronzer that may or may not work for me I'm sorry I am just not I'm not feeling this it's $27.99 a month plus tax and out of everything I'm not excited for nothing but not even this little alley stackable thing, but that's the only thing that I feel like is worth keeping for me. I don't like goat milk products. It's just something about goat milk that just makes me, ugh. I don't want glow drops, highlighter, primer for the face, I definitely don't want liquid eyeshadow, dual-sided or otherwise. 
And although this is an awesome product, I don't need two of the Natasha Denona Cupid palettes, five pan palettes. So value, had I not had this palette, then I would have been a little bit more excited for this box, but nope, not excited. Kind of kicking myself is like, what else could I have spent twenty eight dollars on, and been happy about it? There's some things in my Sephora cart at twenty eight dollars. I want to try that new Gwen Stefani um, gift collection um, brow pencil because of the shape of it. I hear the shape is very good and it works out for a lot of people. So that's my boxy charm. Yeah, the face does not denote the amount of excitement I have for this box. And while we're at it, let's go Ipsy. This is the Ipsy Glam Bag Original. It is $13 as of this month, which is July 2022. Ipsy has instituted a $1.99 handling fee. That is in addition to your um, tax. Okay. So let's see what's for me at Ipsy. And the theme again is soak it all in. Do I have any product information? Oh my goodness. Product information. The very first thing is from Ipsy's line of refreshments, and this is the Luscious Hand Cream and Citrus Spritz. This is a full size at $8. Let's see what it smells like. I will more than likely be keeping this. It's a hand cream. It smells okay. Nothing to go, oh my God, it smells so wonderful. I can't wait to slather it all over my hands. The packaging is cute. It's like a little oval shape situation. It's pink and green. And some pinks and green, some silver foil, metallic -y. um, uh, decoration. Next. From, okay, that was outside the bag. This month's bag is this cute little bag here that's like an aqua green situation with a starfish tassel pull tab that says Ipsy. So let's open it up. The first thing I'm pulling out is the item that I chose. This is from Complex Culture. This is the Kiss Bliss Lip Gloss in the shade Euphoria. This is a full size item at $18. And oh, look at the packaging. The packaging is super duper cute. Super duper cute. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's super duper cute. It just sounds like you should say it twice. Have a light scent and a kind of curved applicator. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. And I picked this because I figured it would come out clear with just a little iridescence. So this is how much is in the actual packaging once I took out the wand. Let's see. Can I get it to settle so we can see this how much we get. The packaging is very, um, I don't want to say disingenuous, deceiving. 
because it looks like there's more in here than it is. The packaging is really cute. I like the rectangular packaging. It's hard to pull out, hard to push back in, but it is super duper cute. So I'm happy for that. Again, that was $18. Next, from Catherine Maldonado, we have, I'm sorry, Catherine Maldrino, Malandrino, the Unconquered Fragrance. This is a deluxe size sample, and it's orange and bergamot waters. So let's take this out, take a spritz. I've been getting a lot of fragrances in my bag from Ipsy lately. Oh my God. Um, I'm not feeling that scent. <laughs> I want so very much to like all these things. I paid money for them to get surprised and get items that I wouldn't normally receive or think about buying or be introduced to. And I'm just not, and I typically do like getting Catherine Malandrino fragrances and this is unconquered but I don't think I would want to smell like this all day not at all and put this back in this packaging um I need something to save me something has to save me okay from Nomad Cosmetics, from the America's Parks collection. This is a deluxe size sample. This is the eyeshadow duo in Half Dome and Delicate Art. Now, um, there's a YouTuber named Dion Loves Makeup, and she loves Nomad shadows. I have one Nomad palette. I think it's haunted in Berlin or something like that. I've yet to use it. Oh, uh, it's a tiny, eeny weeny, teeny weeny. There we go. And you can't go wrong with a burnished bronze and deep brown. Do I want to put my fingers in it? No, I do not. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I might give it to my niece. She likes to play in things like that. Yeah, I'm not feeling that um, fragrance at all. All right. The last thing in this box, bag <laughs> is from MAC. And of course, I drop it on the floor. Give me a second, please. It's teeny tiny, but maybe it can save the day. This is the MAC Stack Mascara Super Stack Mega Brush. This is a deluxe size sample of the MAC Stack Mascara. I was interested in this particular mascara. It has two different brush heads. I have the Mega Stack. Ooh, excuse me, and then there's one called Micro Stack. Of course, we sniff, and we have rubberized bristles. 
And this is the one thing I'm excited about. So, we got the Mac Stack Mega Brush Mascara from Ipsy. We have the Nomad Cosmetics Duo from the America Parks Collection. We have this Unconquered Catherine Malandrino fragrance. I think it's a hint of spice in there. I'm not a I don't like spicy um perfumes. It says orange and bergamot, but it's a hint of it's some kind of hint of spice in there, and that's throwing me off. I'm not liking that. Um in complex culture, we have the Kiss Bliss Lip Gloss. This is okay. It's clear, basically, with some sparkle. And this smells okay. It's nothing that, oh my God, I want to slather it all over my body. Nope. But it's okay as a hand cream. Can't go wrong with it. And this is full size. So I got two full size items in my Ipsy Glam bag. The one that's $13. The bag itself is really cute. I do appreciate that. I adore that. And that is my Ipsy. So, what, if anything, did you like about anything that I got in my Ipsy that bag or my BoxyCharm face box? Just as a reminder from that, we got the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizer. We got a uh, Natasha Denona 5 Pan um, Shadow Palette in Cupid. We got the Stack the Eyes from Ali Oop, which is a three cream multi-use face stacker with highlight, blush, and contour. We got a Dual ended matte and metallic eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow creams, and some Jekka Black glow drops for those that like to glow. This is the type of thing. Let me show you what I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep the alley oop. I'm going to keep the hand cream, the lip gloss, the MAC stack, and that's it. What I'm going to be potentially giving away will be the Catherine Malvarino. Fragrance, the little Nomad dual eyeshadow, the K Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizer, the Jack of Black Glow Drops, definitely giving away the Five Pan Eyeshadow Palette from Natasha Denona and Cupid, and the dual ended liquid eyeshadow. So that's what is going on. So that's my Ipsy for July 2022, regular glam bag, and my BoxyCharm base, July 2022. And Mama's not so ecstatic, but I had a great Ipsy glam bag plus, and then I believe last month was pretty good, if I can remember what I got. And, um... We're just going to go from there. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a little bit of a longer video. But um, I wanted to take my time and really go through the things and give you my real impression of how I felt about those items that I received. 
And yeah, let your inner whimsy shine, because mine isn't at the moment. <laughs> let your inner whimsy shine, stay whimsical, and I will see you in the next video for sure. Thanks so much for taking the time out. Comment, rate, subscribe, like. Um, let me know what you might want to see. Again, let me know uh, the products, what you would have been happy to have had. Um, if it's something that I've decided is not for me and why maybe I should keep it, let me know. Or if I kept some things you would have got rid of and why, that would have been, that's cool too. All right, YouTube, I'm going to see you. I appreciate you all. Bye.